this is the circuit construction again i repeat one more time here we have we are applying the input voltage to this negative input terminal and we have the input resistor r1 and we are having the output also we are taking part of the output and feeding back to the negative input terminal and via this feedback resistor rf the other positive input terminal is grounded okay usually we use the symbol like this for the ground or we can also use like this uh, so now this i1 is the input current it's flowing through this r1 here this is the if this is the feedback current it's flowing through this rf feedback resistor and we know the old uh, this is the node you know the node means what is the meeting point of more than one branches so here we have this branch and this branch is meeting here this is called node vx based on the virtual ground concept this one is grounded this is voltage potential is zero the same voltage is appearing in this node also so vx is equal to zero so it means i minus is flowing to this terminal uh, input terminal so now let us go further on equations uh, deriving so remember you should understand first what is i1 input current what is if feedback current and what is i minus what is vx so once you understand the circuit construction then only we can go to uh, equations deriving so uh, based on the kcl uh, i think you have already studied about uh, kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's current law and uh, how can we use the voltage uh, potential dividers and ohms law these things in your other course circuit theory or network theory i guess i'm not sure maybe uh, the course name will be different but you have already studied some basics so we are going to use the same concept now to make this equation so uh, based on this kcl i1 is equal to if i1 means what this is the input current which is equal to the feedback current okay this is the first assumption we are making based on the kcl now we will apply the ohms law so what is ohms law we are going to find this i1 so i1 is equal to here is the i1 is flowing through so now how can we find the i1 based on the ohms law so we know v equal to ir right this is the ohms law so as an electrical student you should remember this lifelong v equal to ir ohms law so now if i want to find the i is equal to v divided by r this is the formula for current how can you find the current in one branch voltage divided by the resistance available in the branch so now we will apply the same formula here so i1 is equal to the voltage here it's not a single voltage we have two points uh, two nodes so here we have the v in and another node it's called vx so this is the voltage potential at this point is v in voltage potential at this point is vx so v in minus vx divided by r1 that is the resistor this is the i1 so again uh, we will apply the ohms law to this if if is equal to the voltage potential difference between these two points this is another point and divided by the resistance so here vx vx minus v out divided by rf so that is if so now we know i1 and we know if so according to this kcl i1 is equal to if so we are just going to replace uh, this one in this equation so v in minus vx divided by r1 is equal to vx minus v out divided by rf just we are applying these values in these equations yeah so now what's happening vx we know the vx value that is zero because we know virtual ground concept so vx value is zero so now we apply zero value here so then v in my uh, divided by r1 is equal to minus this is going to be gone and this is also going to be gone so v in divided by r1 equal to minus v out divided by rf so now i want to uh, bring this uh, v out and v in this left side 
So I'm just rearranging these equations in this way. So V out divided by V in is equal to minus RF divided by R1. So this is a very simple one. So V out is going here and uh, RF is going here. So that is why RF divided by R1, this minus is already here. And the V out, we are just bringing here down. Uh, sorry, we, we, V in, we are bringing down. So we, if you rearrange this equation, it will be like this. V out divided by V in is equal to minus RF divided by R1. So this V, v out divided by V in is nothing but gain, that is A. So finally, we find the gain of this operational amplifier A is equal to minus RF divided by R1. What is RF? That is the feedback resistor. And R1 is input resistor. So now we will just move on further. The negative sign is indicating the output voltage because we are applying the input to this negative terminal. So we are also getting output. Input is applying to the negative. So output is also negative. Here, um, the minus sign or the negative sign is indicating output voltage is 180 degree out of phase with, res uh, with respect to input voltage. So if you apply the input voltage as um, like this, at the output, you will get phase inverter, inverted phase. So, so it's a sinusoidal, it's not a triangular wave. So we get the inverted 180 degree and that is what the minus is indicating, phase difference. Okay, so now we will move further. Now we will apply some numbers to this resistor value, then you will understand a little more better. So remember the formula for this uh, gain, gain of this configuration. This is the in inverting operational amplifier with negative feedback. So now I assume, uh, or uh, maybe I, I construct a circuit. I use two kilo ohms in this RF. This is two kilo ohm. And I, I put one kilo ohm in this R1. So now I calculate the gain of this operational amplifier. So gain value is minus R, uh, RF divided by R1. This is the formula we derived just before. So what is the value? You can apply this two here and then one here, then the value will be minus two. So that is the gain. And we know the output formula. So what is the output formula? V out is equal to A times V in. So V in, sometimes we can call this as a V in or sometimes we can call this a VD. VD means we are applying input voltage to these two, two, these two terminals. So VD is normally is equal to V1, difference, uh, sorry, uh, V1 minus V2 actually. So we can say this is a generally the difference between V1 and V2. So here we don't call as a VD, we are just calling as a V in because we are applying input to only one terminal. So A times V in, this is the formula. And now we can make, uh, we know the A value that is minus two. Now I apply one volt here as the V in. So the gain is, uh, what is this Ga gain is minus two. That is the A value. A is equal to minus two. So I get the output minus two volt. So the same, uh, again, I draw the sinusoidal wave. I apply one volt. This is the magnitude, one volt. And I get at the output minus two volt, minus two volt. So here maybe this is minus one and this is minus two. So this is the amplitude of this signal. I amplify the signal and I, I at the same time, I'm also getting uh, inverted output. Now let's say uh, this is the RF and R1 value, right? I change the RF value and R1 value. Then what will happen? Maybe I change this R of value from two kilo ohm into four kilo ohms. So now this one is four kilo ohm. I keep the R1 value as the same one kilo ohm. So now what is the output? So we know the formula V out is equal to, very bad writing, I think. Uh, v out is equal to A times V in. 
So here A is what? So we have to find the A, right? So A is equal to minus R of by R1. So that is minus four divided by one. So that is minus four. So A value is minus four. Multiplied by V in V in, I still apply the same one volt. So the output will be minus four volt. So I apply only minus, uh, I apply only one volt as an input here, but at the output I'm getting minus four volt. So what is happening here? The amplifier is amplifying the input signal and also inverting here because we are applying here. But if you apply the input here, then it will be the, it will not invert. It will be as uh, the same phase as the input voltage. So by changing this R of value and R1 value, I can change the gain value. So once I change the gain, then I can change the output voltage level. So this way I can control the gain. By controlling the gain, I can control the output voltage level. So that is why we are having this negative feedback. So now you know what is the formula for the output voltage. Uh, you know already the formula for output voltage that is the A multiplied by V1 or A times V1, V in. And now we derived already this equation for gain. A is equal to minus R of Y R1. So then this is a very simple uh, circuit. So you, in the lab, actually you can use this operational amplifier IC and you can have different resistor values. You can construct this uh, circuit and you can use the oscilloscope and you can, uh, you can check, you can apply one volt from the uh, voltage uh, generator uh, from the power supply. And you can check at the output, sorry, how many voltage you are getting at this output. You apply one volt and then you check the output. And you have to note down the RF and R1 values in your paper. And you can manually calculate by using this formula. And oscilloscope, you can check practically in the oscilloscope. Uh, so when you apply one volt and this one kilo ohm and two kilo ohm combination, output is really becoming two volt or not. Similarly, you can change this R of two, four kilo ohms or whatever the other values you want. And you can check the output. What is the changes is happening in the output. Similarly, you can also change this input uh, R1 value and you can observe what is going to happen in this output. So whatever you can mathematically calculate this in the paper and you can compare in the oscilloscope by controlling the value of RF and R1 we can control the gain of this offer.